And let's go to Austin Hill, austinsbigworld.com. Austin's Big World of Small Business. You can follow him on Twitter, at Ask Austin. The Big World has a Twitter handle, doesn't it, too, Austin? Absolutely. Thanks for asking. It's uh, simply at Austin's Big World. You can find me at either one of those. Okay, so there you go, at Austin's Big World or at Ask Austin. Uh, great uh, resources. That. Yeah, no no problem, uh, absolutely. Uh, Austin Hill with us here. Uh, let's see, Austin. So this job report uh, comes out. Uh, down day on Wall Street. The report out from D.C. Uh, disappointing. I don't. I don't think that's uh, unfair to say that. Uh, mm -hmm. The real economic news today, you believe, if I'm not mistaken, goes beyond the street and goes beyond D.C. Oh, absolutely. So, no, what are we? What are we to make of this newly released data? If that's your philosophy on this. Yeah, that is my philosophy. I think that's not just a philosophy, that's reality. But mm -hmm. for one thing, the expectations of the experts, uh, I think, once again, demonstrated to be a false narrative. Now, experts on Wall Street and in the federal government and in universities around the country are saying, oh, we'll probably have about 223, 224,000 new jobs uh, in the report for the month of July. They missed the mark. It uh, was about 215,000 new jobs. Now, opinions, you know, are just that. Everybody has one and the experts are entitled to that. The report is not terrible, but it's not great either. And what buoys Wall Street along these days is just really upbeat, sugar high, everything is awesome narratives. And the narrative uh, didn't bear out this time. So that's that's a starting point where those of us, as I like to say in flyover country where you live and where I live, uh, we need to wake up and understand that the world does not revolve around Washington, D.C. or Manhattan for that matter. Real life on Main Street where we live matters and it's not as rosy as they would like to think it is we're talking to austin hill austin's big com. austin what is missing from this jobs report at least based on what we've seen thus far yeah, and I appreciate you asking that question. That's a very good one. What we uh, and the headlines don't capture this. You have to drill down in these reports that are federal government issues. And most, uh, frankly, financial and business news journalists don't drill down. They just give you the headlines and go, "Wow, look at this! Unemployment rate remained the same, five point three percent, and two hundred fifteen thousand new jobs." Here's what's deeper in the report: almost ninety four million people in America no longer work. They're totally checked out of the uh, labor force. We're now almost uh, just just under 57 million American women age 16 and older that have totally checked out of the workforce. Now, there's your jobs report for you. When our economy is not producing sufficient kinds of jobs and sufficient numbers of jobs that uh, bring that 97 million people back into the workforce or women age 16 and older uh, just totally check out, that's a huge problem. And it's even uglier when you look at uh, ethnic groups, African-Americans, Hispanic Americans. So that's what gets missed in the headlines. And um, we, we need to wake up. That uh, I don't think we need to sit around and wait for the you know financial and business news media journalists mm -hmm. to uh, start doing a better job. We need to be more discerning as Americans and look into the details more fully and ask the tough questions. All right. Flip side, Austin, any positive developments emerging from this report? I think there is, to the extent that there are some journalists and reporters and analysts in the you know the elite financial world who are sitting up and saying, "Whoa, wait a minute! Uh, we've got a lot of people who aren't working. We've kind of reached this tipping point uh, where even people in New York and Washington D.C. are saying, "Hmm, there's a problem here." Now we've been talking about this problem for well over a year, but I think there's a, a wake-up call that's going on. Increasingly, we also see people saying stocks are overvalued. And uh, this, as a matter of fact, there's a gentleman named David Stockman, who was uh, a financial analyst in the uh, the Reagan administration when President Ronald Reagan was at the White House. But he's a much sought after economist and uh, mm -hmm. stock analyst and such. He's saying that uh, we are nearing the end of this period where the stock market can be driven by the Federal Reserve and these uh, gimmicks that our central bank plays with cheap interest rates. We've got to get back to a, a time and place where stock values are based on companies making uh, products that people buy and companies producing profits. You can't have rising stock values if companies aren't profitable. That's basic economics. Wall Street is in denial about that, but uh, the denial is starting to thaw out. They're starting to wake up, I believe, and that's positive. Always great to talk to Austin Hill. Austin, I hope you have a uh, great weekend. Check out Austin, austinsbigworld.com, the Twitter handle, uh, at Austin's Big World, at Ask Austin, Austin's Big World of Small Business. It's always great to talk to you, pal. Always great to be with you and your listeners, Patrick. Have a great day. Take care. Austin Hill.